suck it up, guys. It was a sketchy nine, but it was a nine. What's up Team Hook House? It's closing weekend copper and it's Bluebird and we gotta send it. I, uh, all right, as you can tell, I'm already pretty much warmed up. We threw a over-rotated seven to nine, which is sick, but let's get a couple clean sevens, then we'll hook a nine. The goal is this weekend to possibly throw a 10. Not land, I mean, we wanna land it, but like, let's get there, you know what I'm saying? These are big steps, these are big tricks, I'm trying to get better at snowboarding. I'm not gonna lie, I'm scared, I'm absolutely terrified, but we got the, cab five we actually do a cab seven this year we got the front seven this year so the last trick on the the goal list for this season's back 10 so let's get it before the jumps are gone because after i don't know if breck's gonna have their park open uh when they stay open for 30 more days the season's not even close to being over so subscribe if you're uh, new to this channel because we're gonna be snowboarding a lot longer now the crew is heavy today we got a boy cody what up? who went to summer camp last year check out the video right here of him hooking a backflip and then he's coming to camp again this year which we're stoked and then our boy filming today is Dylan. Boom. I'm just, I'm plugging so much, okay? So Dylan has a YouTube channel, he, and I told him, I was like, yo, come film me. I'll give you the fattest plug. So we're having a sick day today because of Dylan. So go subscribe to his YouTube channel right now. It's right there. Oh, subscribe. yeah. Subscribe. Uh, oh, yeah. He's the man. Appreciate it. And he posts snowboard content. I know you guys like snowboard content. Subscribe to Dylan. Give, go to his last posted video and comment like, thank you. Or like, thanks for helping Buckhouse or Team Hot. Like, blow him up. Let's like spam him. I want his notifications on his phone to like, go through the roof. All right, enough talking, more hopkin, let's get it. need to like look at my footage or maybe go to a bigger jump. The seven feels incredible. I just put it to my feet and I feel like I I can't stand up. Maybe I have no, not enough landing or I don't know. I'll, I'll look at the footage, but uh, come on. bigger jump. I gotta suck it up guys. Yeah. Jump two. We're moving to jump two.
Hi right, guys, so they have this gnarly tube here. It's like a tubezilla. It's like four or five tubes. Swivel to down. Swivel to down with a donkey at the very end. And uh, maybe we'll hit this for the rest of the day in this section and try and clear it. Swivel for shizzle. Swivel for shizzle. snowboarder went right in front of me and he like did a really bad nose press and you could have got it oh and I could have used it against him <laughs> <laughs> can't keep up with all the bullshit that throw in your way I got a slush catch. What happened? Well, that's not fun. We're good though. Pop it. It's always such a bummer catching an edge in the slush. Like, you're feeling good, all of a sudden it's like, oh, it's so brutal. But you know what's not a bummer? Today's sticker shout out. We got live underscore pork chop with three evolution stickers on the gear. Dude, thank you so much for supporting the channel, snagging some merch. And then we got Yoquoba with the electric sticker and the fire sticker on the helmet and snowboard. Looking so insane. Guys, thank you so much for everyone snagging merch, still supporting the dream, snagging the Evolution stickers. I couldn't do this for a living without you guys. So thank you so much for snagging the merch. If you do want to get any merch, like the hoodies, t-shirts, long sleeves, snag it and then tag me on my Instagram and I'll give you guys gear and sticker shout outs. But also follow my Instagram for bonus extra content. I post a bunch of cool things on the stories and we're getting like 4,000, 5,000 views of stories. So guys, thank you for checking out my stories. If you're not watching my stories, you really are missing out on some bonus content. And then, I, I don't know what else to say. Sign up for Snowboard Camp and, uh, dude, today's sick. The vibe today is fun. We've done some heavy tricks. I'm just having fun. today <laughs> that one felt good so we were we were contemplating like speed just didn't feel right on two it's a bigger jump but we were barely getting over the knuckle it's like we're not gonna get a seven if we're barely getting over the knuckle but that one was clean he stopped that one that, that one felt like i go to i could go to nine on that one All right, so Dylan's crushing it today. Big shout out to Dylan. We landed a seven really good. It felt really good. It felt like I could have took it to nine. So maybe we're gonna hook a nine this time, but the energy level, like we went hard right off the bat. And it's cause Dylan only films. I cut out the audio, but here's some clips of him being like, woo, yeah, oh, woo. It's so sick. He's such a sick filmer. He's so stoked when you land a trick. I love it. And so, um, we just been charging hard. We're getting a little gas, so let's throw a couple nines. We're trying to throw some nines, see how we do. And then we're gonna, well, we're not going for 10 today. It was a sketchy nine, but it was a nine. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Let's go! Whoa, man! Sketchy nine, but a nine on a small. <laughs> that was first tee. I have a weird feeling we're gonna be throwing a ten on jump one tomorrow. <laughs> but it's about learning and figuring it out. And like I said, I just was not getting the right speed. Dude, I got a nine first try. Really? A little sketchy, but we got it. It's a good thing I'm like really tough because I just keep knuckling. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh. That was terrifying. Oh my God. I literally sacrificed my head, the back of my head to save my face. Oh. Dude, I was going full face for that donkey. Oh, I smoked my dome real good. Whoa, what was that? What was that? I wonder if you can just hear me in the video, just, <laughs> <laughs> just oh god. I want to get another one too, another knife. Oh. Let's go. All right, so after two major head bonks today, we're gonna. This is chipmunk, and we're gonna play it, play it mellow. I'm not even gonna throw another nine. I wanted to. We're going up the lift, all that stuff. It's just like, yeah, we'll play it safe. We'll get a couple clips of Cody and Dylan, the homies. The vibe has been so fun today, but no reason. We got tomorrow to go all out. Oh! Oh, yeah. Oh, crushed it though. Nice. Dude, the boy is filling in, crushing. Oh, sick. Thanks again for filming, my man. Anytime. And uh, same crew tomorrow. It's gonna be sick. I am so stoked with today. Let's get to the car and break it down. It's a little windy. There's a bus here. I'm so excited to talk to you guys. Back nine, first try. Obviously not the best, but still, what a sick day. We got so many sick tricks. I felt confident, we rode good. I did have two gnarly spills where I hit my head and because I did get a major concussion earlier in the year, I've been taking the head hit serious. If I hit my head really good like I did the second time, I'm like, I listened to my body and on the chairlift, I did the like pretending to throw a nine and it just felt a little washy up there. And I was like, nah, like we'll take it mellow. We got tomorrow, closing day copper to kind of go after it and try and th throw that 10 and I'm so excited. and. Dude, I don't want to throw it on the first jump, but I, maybe the speed, I'll wax my board tonight. Maybe the speed for jump two will be better and we'll have a bigger jump to really like throw the spin. But to get, even get a nine on that first little jump is so funny. And um, yeah, I just like showing you guys my progression and like, I'm not the sickest snowboarder. I come out every single day and I work really hard to get to this level. So if you want to get good at snowboarding, just know you can, because I'm not talented. I don't have skill with snowboarding. I've worked my butt off to get to the level of rider that I am at. And you know, it takes it takes some slams. In order to get good at snowboarding, you're gonna have to eat it a little bit. Like I took some slams today, but I got to another level or I got to a point that got me super stoked. And like, I really pushed my riding today, which is good, it's fun. It's really fun to get out there and be scared and to, to know that I might, I might die right now, but I'm still gonna go for it. So yeah, team up guys, I hope you really enjoyed today. If you did, please smash the like button, help uh, this video get around. Every time you smash the like, this video will get to more people, more people can see it, and hopefully more people can hear the message of you can get good at snowboarding to go out and work. Now, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I do make how-to videos and I break a bunch of stuff down for you, but some days I like to show you me going for it because sometimes watching somebody else kind of huck it and go for it and like you can learn a lot. So if you did learn anything today, comment down below. I'd love to know what you learned from not only just this video, but for me this season, a lot of you guys say I taught you a bunch about snowboarding, which is so sick. And that's like the, my passion behind what I do. And I think it's so sick that you guys can get better at snowboarding because of me, because it's taken me 11 years to get to this level of riding, but also to understand the nuances and the little things with the sport. So if I can cheat code some stuff with you guys and help you get better, like that's, that's sick. So what did you learn? Comment down below. And I'm literally going from here to working on that studio. We're remodeling the studio for the house. If you missed the house tour video, check it out. I only have that house because of you guys. And um, I'm blessed, I'm thankful, and we got a good deal on it. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have a YouTube studio. It's gonna have a, it's gonna be a vibe. We're doing a lot in there. And uh, I'm really excited for it to all come together. And I have like six more days to finish it. So it's like, game on, let's start working. Moving the desk over today. Got the walls all 
already. Oh, thank you so much for shredding with me today, Team Hockey Austin. As always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you guys tomorrow with hopefully a 1080. I'm on top of the ocean, living like life ain't frozen. Feeling my feet been chosen for something other than motion. Yeah. Mama told me I'ma be somebody. I ain't never gonna need nobody. No, no, I ain't never gonna need nobody. No cliff hang.